So, so it was already set up in the duty spirit for the youngest to get the blessing because the most high was dealing with it. Huh. You know? One of the things Esau said, he said, when the when the days of my father's mourning come to pass, that's what he said, I, I shall have revenge on Jacob, or I shall slay my brother Jacob. Now Esau never actually slayed Jacob. But what did the whole nation of Esau do to us? The uh, whole going through the timeline. I mean, the whole nation eat him. They fucked. Uh, they they have to suck. You yes, know, sir. they got us. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Huh. You know, so ever since you were on the scene, you, you pretty much hated us, which is through the spirit anyway. Because the Lord said I will put enmity between thy seed and her seed, and her seed being Israel, you know, and, and thy seed being the seed of the devil. You know, that and that goes to show you that you white people, you're the seed of the devil, That's man. That's right. You're wicked as hell. And, and guess what? You you got all of these other nations hyped up thinking that they, they that they're gonna uh they uh, su succeed, you know. <laughs> they got next. You know? But 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 all of you are about to be be taken down. You know, the Most High is going to deal with you according to the way that you dealt with his people. And you ain't dealt with his people nothing nice. And when you read the book of Joel, what was that, 3 and 4, 3 and 6, it talks about how the, the, the Hermetic nation sold us to the so-called white men, sold us into slavery. Well, it sounds the 83rd chapter shows you that, that, uh, that all of you nations had a part to do with our slavery. That's the reason why it says, let us cut them off from being a nation. Right. And then when we were taken down and we were in slavery in America, you niggas were sending gifts to each other. America got sent the Stat Statue of Liberty. Well, they, were sending you know they were sending us. They were sending they slaves. Were, they were sending Gad and Reuben back and forth, back over there, yep. you know, so-called Europe. They were sending us. Why do you think Jake is all over in, uh, over in India? Shit, man. Well, why, why do you think we got Israelites <laughs> over in the in the most remote places of the world? You know, got got a, a so-called Native American over in Great Britain. How they get over there? They got shipped over there as a present, as a gift. That's right. Literally. And, and they're over there to till this day, yep. doing their this tribal rituals and you know dancing and stuff. I know, I know that because uh, you, I don't know if you remember that Ariel, the brother from over there, he sent us a picture of that, uh, or maybe he put it up on the gram. But it was uh, it was uh, some Gadites and Reubenites out there with their clothes on dancing and shit, shit performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brother uh, Shakal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, still got a, yeah. you know that's and that's all scripture. They was literally sending gifts and sending us ass gifts. You know, so we gonna get these heathens. And uh, us. and uh, another thing, Thomas, even Thomas, he went up he, uh, when we were being scattered. He he went he went oh, unto, yeah, yeah, he yeah. went onto the uh, he, onto the to the Jake Sowers in the land of Elon. That's right. This is Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, raise it, raise it, destroy even it, destroy it, yeah. fuck, uh, kill us, destroy them, them, them black marker babies. You know, you know how Esau talks. <laughs> kill them, uh, kill them, uh, destroy the seed of Jacob. I, I can't stand you. Yep. <laughs> Even to the foundation thereof, to take a, to destroy the roots of, them. take their roots up from the from the root to the tutor. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So we're gonna be happy to reward this this devil back. As well as these other nations, the way that they rewarded us. That's right! We're gonna take their little ones and we're gonna dash them against stones. You know, because when we were back in, in the Greek Empire when this devil was ruling over, it was the scripture say in uh I wanna say this Job 20 20, it's, it uh, it says that their that their bones are, are full of the sins of their youth. You know, so all the way from the time when you first came on the scene and you was doing wicked shit to Israel, all the way up until now, and you're 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 your, your whole nation is full of that sin. Hey, well, in, in the Grecian Empire, they were taking our children because, because the women were circumcising them and they would throw them down from the cliff or they would hang them, hang them by the neck, you know, to kill our children. You know, the Native American women, they would cut their bellies open to, to make a bet, you know, to see if the child was a, 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 a boy or a girl. And they would dash the child against the stone they would throw the baby up in the air and let the baby fall down, man. Well, what, what do you think we're gonna do to you? We're gonna reward you as you have rewarded us. But we're gonna dump, we're gonna reward you double. And the, and the, 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 the main thing that white people fear, so-called white people fear, is retribution or retaliation. 
That's the whole reason why they don't want to see us uh, uh, get, get, uh, come, up in the, come up in the world. That's the reason why they hate the idea of the so-called black man, Negro, and la the Latino man, you know, uh, a Native American man, uh, gaining something or gaining power in this world. That's second because second. they know that the first thing that we're going to do is retaliate on that ass, man. That's uh, Second Thessalonians. Seeing is a righteous thing. Yeah. All five powers to recompense the tribulation. Can you grab that? Is that, yeah. uh, is that Second it's Thessalonians six. five? Well, well, yeah, yeah. It's one, one, six. one and six. Yeah. It's a lot. Right. Well, no. And, and often when she was uh, how he brought out that psalm, you gotta have a hardened spirit on you to even think like that. To think that uh, you know, you can't you can't be no softy in this truth, man. We gonna the Lord he gonna put his indignation on us, but we gonna be taking Edomite babies. Lifting them up, raising them up in the air, you know, they're going to be flailing and crying. And we're going to drop their skull down, you know, whatever happens, happens. What are they going to do? We're going to pop them like, yeah. like on, on 4th of July, you know, little poppers and just throw them down. <laughs> you know? and, and it's just ironic that they, that they so called white, too. Right. You know? God, I got you real quick. <laughs> All right. And you throw it on the ground, yeah, you just, okay. you're yeah. you're stump. You say you're trying to jit on it the line. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Talk about back here, bro. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. God. And who's a, who's, who troubles us? Who's our adversaries? Yep. You know, the, the so-called white men. You know, that's the reason why the scripture in, in the book of Revelations, all throughout the scripture, it calls this man the devil. It calls him Satan. The word devil means deceive, deceiver, and Satan means adversary. He's an adversary of the Most High. You know, he's an adversary of us. He's an adversary of the Most High. Of all his existence. He's you know, fucking of, black matter walking around with a human body. All Esau is the embodiment of evil. You know, the embodiment of, of death and hell. Can you grab that, Joel? That's why all, all his uh, avenues, everything he does, leads to death and destruction. He gives you food, it will kill you. He gives you clothes, it will kill you. He feeds you, gives you water, it will kill you. Everything he gives you destroys hey, you. His name should have been Mawaf. Death. <laughs> death. You know, he's the death adder. You know that. <laughs> but 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 pretty much, what the Most High is gonna do is the Most High is so out cold that he's gonna make our enemies fight amongst themselves, man. To the point where we, 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 all we got to do is just sit back and enjoy the show, man. You know, and that's that's about to happen. Yep, you know, exactly so the so-called so white man and these white nations are about to fight against these these other nations, and these other nations they they gonna kill each other. Go ahead. This is Joel Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. So all of these laborers, these other nations around the world that was laboring, make finances rich for America. You know they're gonna beat their 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 plowshares into into spears, man. Now that now they're they're ready for war to fight against this devil, man. Pruning prune hooks into spears. Let the weak say, "I am strong," Be because there was a there was a point in time when, when uh, these these nations uh, were, were considered to be weak. Weak, you know. You, uh, America used used intimidation tactics to, to to pretty much frighten them and to make them afraid. Well, dropping that bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki that was an intimidation tactic. You know. Hey, hey uh, when you read uh. Revelations 13, and I won't say it's either 5 or 6, it says that who is like unto the beast who can make war with it? You know, that's talking about NATO. You know, in, in, in America, because America is the military force of NATO, the military might. You know, so they were saying who, who can make war against them. Well, right now, all of these nations that have ICBM technology can make war against your ass. You know, so they ain't afraid of you no more. They're walking around with their, with their chest Poked out as, as far as yours, man. Okay. Go ahead. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. It says to judge all the heathen. So all of you motherfuckers that was mentioned in, in, in uh, Psalms 83rd chapter, most high is about to judge. He's gonna have y'all fighting against each other. 
put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. And that sickle is what? The eight. It's, it's ironic that, that uh, Russia has an ICBM missile that's called the sickle. Mm -hmm. You know, so put ye in the sickle for the harvest is right. The harvest, when you read uh, Matthew's the 13th chapter, it says that the harvest is the end of the world. You know, the harvest is right. Go ahead. Come, come, get you down, for the press is full. That's, that's it. Can you grab uh, Revelations 14 and 9? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, not Revelations 14 and 9. Revelations uh, 16 and begin at uh, verse 13. Can you grab Isaiah 14 and 9? This is Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to battle of the great day so this this beast, they the native they they've been warned to to, to uh, gather all these nations together to, to fight up to fight that third world's war. You know that's what they're looking for. That's the reason why you got this guy James Mattis, which has uh, been been uh, nominated as uh, the Secretary of Defense for for America. You know he's he's uh, he has a, a, mil a military campaign. Well, not campaign, but. He's been in the military for a while, so they look to this guy as a great guru of advice when it comes down to military tactics and strategies, you know? So so Donald Trump nominated him as the Secretary of Defense. He said he's all for engaging Russia. He said that Russia, terrorists, and China uh, poses a, a threat to a, a America's power within the, within the world, you know? So, so he wants to engage Russia, you know? So, hey, that World War Three is gonna happen in our time. Man. Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen in our time. World War Three is right, is right around the corner. These devils want World War Three to pop off because they they want to come through with uh, with the RFID chip. They want to get uh, World War World War Three going because they want to eliminate the the the, the, uh, the people that poses threats to them being able to rule over this place and to establish their new world order. Go ahead. Behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. Oh uh, yeah, grab the next verse. Yeah. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. So so that, that place, I'm Armageddon, God. that's I'm over God. in the, in the, in the, in the uh, Middle East, man. That's over in the Arabia Peninsula, over there near Israel and, and Syria and, and the, uh, the Arabian Desert, man. And what proves that? America, it says in our key graph, Joel 2 and 20. I, I think it's 2 and 20. You know, where, where it talks about the, the Northern Army being gathered into, into the, uh, with its face towards the, the East Sea and its hinder parts towards the utmost sea. Well, your, your army, Amer the American Army is already stretched thin as hell. You got America that just sent a bunch of troops over to, uh, to, to different Europe nations. To, to help to help NATO to, to come back in the in the in the event that Russia was to invade those European nations. They just sent seventy thousand uh se yeah seventy thousand yep. troops over to Poland. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. So 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 basically, your your army is already stretched thin. You got uh, you got your army stretched throughout all of these countries uh, 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 around the world, man. But when you go over into the Middle East, once you invade the Middle East and, and you and you send your troops there, that's that's when you know that World War III is about to pop off, but you're gonna be destroyed over there. Go ahead. This is Joel 220, but I will remove far off from you the northern army, and I will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the East Sea. That's the Euphrates, the Euphrates River. And his hinder part toward the utmost sea, which is which is the Red Sea. So America is going to be over there in that in that land. And and what's going to happen to to America when they're over in that land? And his stink shall come up, and his ill savior. Well, 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 what makes a person stink when when they're when there's dead bodies decomposing? You know, so don't be surprised when this doesn't turn out to your to what you what you hope it to turn out to be, man. Go ahead. And his ill savior, savior, 
shall come up because he have done great things. Right. Can you grab that in Revelation? Uh, not Isaiah, Isaiah. Yeah. Can you I, grab uh, 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 Revelation 19 and 19? Isaiah chapter 14, verse 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming and stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. And those, those dead represents the other nations. So all of these other nations around the world, they're getting stirred up. All of these other nations hate America, you know? And, and all of these other nations have uh, ICBM missiles or nuclear missiles. So your worst nightmare is gonna come to, uh, come to fruition. You know, that the thing that you hate the most, that you wish wouldn't happen, is going to happen. You know? But, but, but here it is, they'll laugh and they'll, and they'll walk by and laugh and, and be proud. <laughs> well, Trump is going to make America great. Right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> <All right. laughs> Forget what you say, nigga. Trump is going to make America great. Again. That's what they want to say. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> but, but it, but didn't it say you let them? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. It, it, it hath raised up. It, it hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. It would, it would have it, it raised up from his throne all the kings of the nations. And what are these nations saying now? Verse ten. And, and, and or do you want me to jump to twelve? God, no, no, ten, uh, keep going. Go, yep. Okay, verse ten. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? 